guys and welcome to your February reading with me Pisces this is your reading thanks for joining me from wherever you are viewing around the world and welcome to the month of February the second month of 2017 February is set to be quite a um, energetic month this month we have the beginning of the eclipses coming in which we know I talk about a lot they're very powerful they create sort of super energy for us and as well we have the asteroid Vesta um, very close to earth she's visible in the night sky perhaps for those people who are able to pick her out and know where she's sitting um, she is the sacred heart and high priestess energy she began as the Vestal Virgin and this year 2017 is also the Vestal Virgin energy so she has a double whammy this year I think Vesta so her energetic connection to us all will be quite powerful. So she represents our ability to integrate and focus our energy and bring wholeness to ourselves. She is the sacred feminine creative energy which allows us to regenerate and dedicate ourselves to our aspirations, plans and goals. She's the guardian of joy and passion within your soul and she represents the fire of spirit. She teaches us to renew ourselves. So some of her energy will be passed across to you in this month of February. Remember too that we have just crossed into the um, Chinese energy of the fire rooster. So it's all go, go, go. Quite a lot of positive, passionate energy for the month of February. So we are using four cards from this deck, the Rider Waite, and then we are going to use a Morgan Greer overall energy card for you. If any of the cards duplicate themselves, because we are using two decks, then you'll know that that message of the card is more intensified. And at the end we will use an Oracle card. So Piscians, let's see what's in store for your February. I love the full the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Lovely yellow sunny feeling coming through here. And from this deck, your overall energy card is... When they decide to get into line and control themselves... The Page of Cups. So I will just have to move that down a little bit so that you can see. Okay, so one major arcana, three cups and a pentacles card, and two court cards, the knight and the page. The court cards generally represent the energy of other people within your reading. So that when they turn up, the reading is not just about yourself, it is about other people. And both the knight and the page are younger people. So there are younger people on your mind in February. They could be your siblings or children or possibly young friends that come into mind as well. But let's start with one of my favourite cards in the reading, the Fool. Now he is looking back in time a little bit, but he is always about new beginnings and about heading out into a new direction. This may have been something that has been on your mind for a while and you have been contemplating it possibly back into 2016 and you're thinking to yourself, no, look, I've got to do it. I'm ready to <laughs> enact myself. I'm ready to take a bold move. The fool is about yourself, not others. Um, even though I have said there are others in your reading, at some point here you also are thinking of your own desires, your own intentions, and just as I said before with Vesta, it's about um, regenerating yourself and dedicating your 
goals, aspirations and plans and getting them into action. The Fool does exactly this. It dedicates energy to your desires and what direction you want to go in. Now only you know that and for everyone it's different. It can be physical, it could be emotional, it could be personal, it could be spiritual, it could be career related. But whatever this is, it's like it's come out to say I'm ready for a change. And given that we are in the month of eclipses and the card right next to it is the ecliptical moon in the sky, I know that for Pisces the eclipse is going to have a degree of effect for you. Um, so the full really, we can go on about it, it's very much at, at the deeper level, it's at the metaphysical level, it is a card of change and new direction without really um, having restraints put upon you. So it's as if you break free and you tell others to back off, I'm doing what I need to do. And um, as I said, you will feel it individually at your own level as to which change this is and which direction. Let's move to the next card, the Eight of Cups, with that ecliptical moon sun in the sky. So there's something here about relationships and it feels as though you will be walking away from some of them. And it, there could be a little bit of pain involved. It feels as though you may have put some time and energy and effort into something, but you're prepared to walk away. So there's definitely newness for you. This whole fall over here and this one walking away. Whoops, that's the hematite stone swinging. Um, it's telling us that Oh, and then I make the camera swing. <laughs> it's telling us there's some yeah, definite movement coming up and things are leaving and you're leaving and you're moving away from stuff that wasn't balanced. Fundamentally, if you look at the Eight of Cups on the bottom, there were five on the bottom and three on the top. It was like whatever that was in your life that, that annoyed you with possibly people or relationships, they were unbalanced. Someone was getting an awful lot and not giving a lot. And, you know, you say to yourself, well, how long can you keep doing that for? So by walking away, you take yourself into new energy, new directions, and new thoughts and paradigms. None of us need to stay around things or people who are not serving us to our very best. It becomes fruitless, and you become, if you like, the martyr. Things need to be balanced in life, and I think even more so now than ever before. There are a lot of very egotistical people out there who think more about themselves than anyone else. So there are times when you have to, and definitely the very first part of this um, reading is about yourself, without doubt. Um, well, let's move to the third card, the Knight of Pentacles. He's a lovely handsome strong man there on his horse and he's offering you a coin a gold coin so he is often the person or the energy that comes into us with the prosperity of possibly newness in a job or a new direction in a job for some of you this can be um, a pay increase or a promotion for some of you, this can be the opportunity to apply for a new job and receive an interview. So if any of you are thinking of that, get your CVs out and get yourself pimp, primped and primed and looking your best for potential interviews. So um, he's a good card to have, but often that is exactly what he means. And he is definitely looking into the future. So this is potential future energy coming. Um, it could even take you into the next month or two, the whole prospect of job applications and interviews. He can also be a, an earth sign person around you. So it could be an earth sign child that is focusing your attention on or that needs your support or help. Or for some of you, you could come across an earth sign person who you are attracted to and who becomes a firm friend or ally. It's one of those most likely scenarios. So let's go to the fourth card. This is another really well-loved card in the deck, the Three of Cups. It's so joyous when you look at it. There's three women celebrating life and friendships and warmth and togetherness and happiness and celebrations. 
So feel that vibe for February and it could even move you into March. Often it, it actually does pertain to three females getting together and often your friends. It can be a family gathering and you get together. Um, often there is a blonde and a brunette and a um, strawberry blonde type person. This is the value of love and support and nurture and honour that the female feminine divine energy has. So Vesta, the um, asteroid, could also be influenced in that card. So some of you may be ignited at that passionate side of your life. You may suddenly re-emerge as the powerful feminine person or energy. And remember, this doesn't just be, have to be a message for the woman. Because we all have masculine and feminine within us. And it's just about igniting that passionate side. And getting that creation and joy alive again. And planning your goals and your desires. So I think for this particular reading that card kind of harbours all of those messages. It, it, she can, um, this card can be quite a powerful generator for you if you focus on it. And also the card can represent those great times of friends when you socialise. Some of you may go away with a group of friends together and just have a great time away. It could be a weekend retreat or it could be a wee holiday together or you could be coming together for some occasion. Really nice. I've got a, such a bubbly feeling around that that it's just so nice. We come here to the Page of Cups and that's your overall energy. So we're back here with the youth of life. So we're being told a little bit in your card about youthful feelings. So being childlike and reinvigorating yourself with the love of children and that pleasure that kids have. You know, they're spontaneous, they're happy, they're full of love and light. Well, when they've been treated well and they're not abused. Um... The Page of Cups also talks to us about the offer of love coming. So the whole energy, since that's your overall energy, the Page of Cups is about love and at the heart level. So we do feel, especially it came through very strongly here as I was doing the reading, we could feel it coming and connecting itself. So there is this feeling of love and I think self-love as well, which we saw in the first part of your reading. So... You may also be thinking of love in the month and thinking of romance and igniting passion again because of this whole Vesta energy and the um, eclipses coming in and relationships. So there's some connection here for you about yourself and your relationships around you and the ignition of passion, fire and love. And that also incorporates your career sector and your finances. They're, they're intertwined. They're, the whole thing is not, it's not free-flowing individually. The whole thing is linked somehow. So keep your eye out for new love coming in, for propositions of love and romance and tenderness and joy and support and nurture. There's plenty of that for you for the month as you walk away from the ones that no longer serve you. So when one door shuts, another opens, and that's very definitely the case for you guys. Okay, let's put these ones away and finish with your final card from the Daily Deck, which have just beautiful, soft messages. Innocence. Let me wind this in a little bit so we can see the card more clearly and see what messages it has for us. You know, when you look at the colours, they're so soft and subtle. And in fact, they really um, imbue these colours here, the pinks and the movies coming through. And the card says, Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. And I think maybe this relates to that card, the Eight of Cups, where you feel a little bit maybe sad that something hasn't quite gone the way it should have or that you had hoped. 
or that the investments you have put into some area of your life are not rewarding and they're not paying back with the positivity. But this card, um, that is a woman actually nurturing a brand new little baby and it tells us, it reminds us again the message for you guys about the childlike um, enjoyment of life and feeling more childlike and letting some lightness of energy come into your life because and celebrations and happiness because it is there. So if there's anything that's been on your mind that is bothering you or weighing you down, you're to let it go and you are to walk away from it and leave it behind and understand that there is innocence and that when we remove our anger or our fear or annoyance and we drop it by the wayside, we come back to a place of innocence and that is basically non-judgment. And when we have no judgment, then we can move forward with the positives again and we find the love and we find the light. So it's an empowering card for you to end with and I feel this beautiful soft energy coming from it and with the stones that are surrounding it. It's very ethereal ethereal in here and it's very um it's gone very floaty and surreal. So there's a wonderful message coming in for you guys about healing heart and that would also be the overall message for you which was of course your page of cups. And that's very much about the heart and the heart connection and offers of love coming. And they come from yourself and that whole journey where you're heading out and rediscovering who you are and what you want. And then as you do, you leave behind any negatives. So hey guys, I think you have a beautiful, warm, um, happy, childlike, nurturing reading. And as well, for those of you, that brand new baby in the card, that might be significant one way or another. Leave your comments for me and I would love to hear what you have to say. So Pisces, wishing you all the very, very best for February. Have a wonderful one. Take care all. Much love. Namaste.